Hello everybody and welcome to a new series I'm calling Should You Pull? So first up, this is the current series, The Truth Seekers. Um, I have took the generic tier list template and made some tiers. Um, we're going to incorporate a little bit of objectivity in here, uh, just by how the card is worth. Uh, trash tier means you don't want this card. Uh, Five diamonds means that it's good to have this card in your back pocket just in case. Fifty diamonds means that it's a good to great member or a good to great leader. One hundred and seventy-five diamonds means that it's an excellent leader and a potential member after its effectiveness has wore off as a leader. So, first off, let's start with Izumi. Okay, so active boosts attacks of. Uh, herself and neighboring machinas. I'm just getting over that part. And it is an attack boost. So, oh, and upon the activation, you explode the columns below the character and machinas to generate enchanted movement. So, potentially a full board explode. So, how good is this card? From like all of this, it's a stat booster. It is. Exploding the board is very useful in human breaking, and I would put this in the somewhere in between here, right? like between five and fifty. Okay, so next up is let's go through all the small prizes first. Uh, Ling Yao, so. Explode all runestones to generate enchanted human runestones, and for every dark heart runestone exploded, they will receive minus 10%. So, again, a full board explode is good, so I would put it in here in the 5 diamond tier. So, next, I'm gonna skip over Riza for. Actually, no, let's do Riza. Uh, explode no fire runestones twice to generate no water runestones and for one round more six extra fire attacks as much as thirty percent of the character attack. So this is five diamonds but with an asterisk. What you really want to do is pair Visa with Roy. So I'm going to talk a bit more about that later. This seal is very special because it has combination characters, and especially this cross combination between small price and jackpot is quite complicated to judge. <laughs> Next up is Alex Lewis Armstrong, um, restoring pet fight and weather runestones uh, and CD delaying. So, judging by that, um, Oh, I forgot to mention CDs, so this is CD6, which is pretty much the lowest you can get, and uh, Ling Yao has CD8, which is why it's slightly worse, and Riza has CD6, which is standard, and uh, Alex has CD7 which is slightly longer, but for all these effects, it's pretty worth. So, he's in somewhere in the middle here again. So, next we've got Lan Fan. Um, turn 3 runestones into Enchanted Dark Human runestones, and this down here is just an attack boost. She's CD. Five, which is a short CD, but also the effect is pretty bad, so I would put that just in straight in the trash tier. Never mind that these two have synergy with like their stats, it's just not worth it. Okay, so now we come to the jackpots. First off, let's do Roy. You know what? Let's just go straight to Roy and Riza right here. So, leader skill. Fire tactics times 6.5, uh, stat boost 1.4 for humans, and uh, 
straight up direct damage when you explode runestones and use the extra attack boosts. You can't you can't dissolve water runestones except I need to make a correction on my news review. It says Roy Mustang. Roy Mustang is this card. This card is called Roy and Reza, so you really don't need to care about dissolving water runestones. Um yeah, the active skills are very nice. Um, good fire human leader right now, especially because fire is a extremely weak attribute. And I think that honestly, Roy is worth 50 diamonds. I'm gonna put him up there in the 50 diamond tier. So. Next up, by the way, I'm saying that really, if you have rowing, you must pull Reza, and basically, I don't. Maybe I see him being okay. Let's if, let's talk about him being a member of the future also. So explode the two bottom rows three times to generate non-water runestones and deal five damage to all enemies. So. In the future, probably an okay member, simply because this is a full water explode, just the roundabout way of doing it. And this effect, drop rate of water resistance will be transferred to fire resistance, is pretty okay. So yeah, staying in the 50 diamond tier, current great leader, and I predict a future great member as well. So moving on to Alphonse. Um, converter of the bottom three rows into automatic columns and wool power plus anti poison. Um, that's the active, which has CD8. Kind of long, but mm, worth it. Uh, the leader skill is just all around good attack. Multipliers, have, he has two types of attack moves stones, Light and Heart, and um, Rooster Spinning Time is okay. You want to put him as double leader in ally instead of, I, in my opinion, instead of uh, Alphonse and then Edward, Edward on the other side, simply because uh, his leader skill just doubles up and you get more EX combos and light and hard just become your main attack wisdom instead of having half three effects. And I'm gonna put him in actually yeah I feel like he's up here because he's the only one uh, in his race and attribute who can do anti-poison and the converting of the bottom three rows is pretty good especially when you, sometimes the enemy skills make you not want to touch the bottom three rows or it's just troublesome you can just convert that into uh instance that you don't need to spin and dissolve and finally edward elric so his active cd6 Three effects, only one is good. I've talked about this before, the only attack one is good. Um, his leader skill, I've also talked about this before. But all around good leader. Um, damage is pretty broken. And combination, again, is pretty broken. Just damage output, undeniable. HP, pretty good. Recovery, pretty good. However, if you already followed up with Hatsune Miku, the last collaboration, I honestly think that you do not need to pull for this card. And in the future, I really can't see two, both of these combining together to take up two member slots. He's not a particularly good member of the future. So, unfortunately, if you... Okay, 
let me just say this. If you don't have Atsune Miku, yes, he is worth 175 diamonds just because he is a meta leader and a really good one at that. But if you do have Hatsune Miku, he's worth lower. I'm putting him at the 50 diamonds here. If you do, if you don't pull for him, he's a good Maka and human leader. But yeah. This is my assessment based on my own box. So, here is where I pass judgment. So, no one, in my opinion, with my inventory is truly worth 175 diamonds. So, what do you do in this case? You see what the top card is, pull until you get everything in 50 diamonds here that's not the 1% jackpot which in this case is Roy uh, what's this guy's name again? Alex and Izumi um, you will most likely get uh, you most likely get Ling Yao and Riza on the way uh, honestly these two as well just wait until right up so the essential card, Alphonse. I got Alphonse in one of my free draws, but the essential card to get from this seal, Alphonse. Uh, second most essential card is Roy. If you get Roy, get Riza. Uh, these three are just okay as well. Um, if you can somehow, you know, if you don't have this card from the seal, Ignore it. If you don't get Edward Elric, that's fine. Honestly, just pull until you have Alphonse, Roy, Izumi, and Alex. If you somehow don't have these two, then your luck is really weird. But I've seen weirder. If you have Roy, pull Frieza. That is one, two, three, four, five, five out of eight cards in the seal. So I give the seal a pull until you get both jackpots, but with an asterisk because this jackpot Roy needs to come out of three. So three cards. All right. Hope that you found this new series entertaining. I am going to do this for other seals in the future as well and yeah if you like it leave a like if you want to say something leave a comment uh subscribe for more content like this um check out my uid and guild id in the description below and i will see you in the next video bye